What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode, another fishing adventure. Today I am at the Iowa River again, but this time I brought a bucket. Hopefully we'll catch some crappie to cook. Uh, I got a recipe in mind I would love to try. So yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's throw it in here and uh, see what we can find. Let's do it. So I have this uh, little one thirty-second ounce jig head there and a uh, Bobby Garland pearl white shad. I'm gonna put my good gloves on here and uh, let's cast out. I got the bobber. Oh, I don't know, about a foot and a half, two feet above the bait there. Let's see if we can find them this way. See, I'm just going to let it sit there for a second and then give it a little pop like that. Just move the bobber a little bit. Hopefully we'll find some here. Yeah, there was a bite. There we go. Crappie number one. Yes. Maybe we will have a catch and cook after all. Decent one. All right, super muddy water and it's got a little jig in there, but he'll survive for a bit. I may have to switch out that water at some point. All right, let's catch like maybe four or five more and I'll be set. That should be all right. Yeah, there was a bite. And I missed them, but yeah, there's uh, there's some fish over there. Come on. Oh, I got hammered. Oh, I got it. Oh, yes, doesn't look bad, looks like another keeper, all right, we'll keep him too. Yeah, right away that time, that's a good one. Oh, it's a smallie. Yeah, they're still down there too. All right, buddy, chill. All right, little smallie there. Not what I wanted to catch, but uh, hey, it's a fish. All right, well, anyways, let's go back over here where we were getting some bites from those crappies. Now oh, there might have been a bite there. Come on. I think a couple more crappies will do it, honestly. Two more. A little bit smaller than that last one would be perfect. Oh, there's a bite. Ooh, yes. And you stay hooked. Yeah, that's a good one, too. That's a keeper. Ooh, another decent one. That is exactly the size I like to keep. But uh, let's, let's catch one more. Maybe two more, I guess. All right, guys, I am back. It's a couple days after I went fishing. Actually, it's probably a couple days after that, and uh, these are getting pretty close, honestly. Oh, 
we're still gonna try it. Uh, they're not terribly smelly, but uh, they don't smell like nothing anymore. So anyways, I'm gonna put these fillets onto a pan and we'll go from there, let's do it. Okay, so I got some butter melting here and we're going to just put these on like so. We got some salt here. I'm gonna lightly put some salt on like so and some black pepper. Now I have world-class white wine, yellowtail Chardonnay. It's got a kangaroo on the front, you know it's gonna be good. Anyways, we're gonna put uh, maybe three quarters of a cup of the wine around here. Yeah, that might be good right there. We don't need a ton. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, we got an oven at 450, and we're going to put it right in there, like so. All right, we're going to keep it at three minutes at first, and we may go another minute or two, but it's really going to cook in the oven with the casserole. While that's cooking, I'm just going to cut up a Roma tomato quick. Into small little dices, I suppose. All right, I'm gonna grab the fish. It's probably been about uh, three or four minutes here. Carefully bring this over here. And now I'm going to uh, struggle with this, but I gotta pour this wine into this pot over here. Oh, yeah. Cool. So I got those in there. Now I'm gonna grab a spatula. Scoop these up. Okay, so yeah, I um, got maybe a quarter cup of butter there and then the juices that were in here or were in the fish. A little bit more wine in there we're gonna let this come up to a boil and kind of get syrupy a little bit and then we're gonna add in some cream and then cook that and then we're gonna put it over here on this fish then we're gonna put it over here on this fish and uh, pop it back into the oven for a few minutes and then we'll uh, have a delicious crappie meal All right, I got some scallions here. I'm just going to cut up a bunch of the white parts of them here. Man overboard. Yeah, probably something like that is perfect. Okay, yeah, there's a little bit more juice on these fish, so I'm just gonna put those in there without uh, dropping everything, hopefully. All right, we're getting a little bit syrupy there. So I have some whipped cream, world's finest, great value. And we're gonna pour in, oh, I don't know, something like that, half a cup, maybe a little bit more, three quarters of a cup. All right, let's try that. And then, just whisk that in. All right, we got the tomatoes and the scallions. We're just going to put that into this uh, reduced cream sauce here. Kind of stir that in for a minute. Let it come back up to a boil. All right, here we got a uh, block of Parmesan cheese. And I'm cutting it pretty uh, small here. Shredding it. Pretty small shreds and we want maybe like a three quarters of a cup all right so now yeah we're just gonna pour that over the fish here probably should have made a little bit more cream sauce but I think it'll be all right we got some Parmesan cheese and we're going to just sprinkle that over the top 
like so. So yeah, we're gonna put it back in this 450 degree oven here. Oh, for a couple minutes. The rice is done here. I'm gonna put some on the plate. Now let's get some of this fish here. I'm gonna put that right there. Get some of this cream sauce. Like so. And then here I have a, uh, a little bit of basil. Just gonna sprinkle that on top there. Along with uh, a little bit of parsley. That might be too much, but uh, yeah, that looks good. All right, let's give this a shot here. It smells pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. Pretty decadent and rich, but super good. Um, it's a different way of cooking fish that I uh, don't usually do, but it is delicious. Okay, guys. Uh, it is... Christmas Day actually and it's been a week since I filmed that uh, crappie catch and cook video the cooking part of it anyways and uh, fortunately I did not get sick from the crappie unfortunately I did get COVID and I've been struggling with that here for the last week but uh, I'm definitely on the mend feeling a lot better so that's good but uh, anyways yeah I just wanted to pop on here and uh, say thank you to everyone who's been watching all my new subscribers I appreciate all of you um, it really does actually mean a lot to me. This has been uh, one of the best fishing years I've ever had. And I'm really happy to have been able to film a lot of it for friends and family and people who are subscribed. Next year should be even better. Um, I got some stuff planned out, doing some camping, some more traveling around, catching cooks, uh, some giveaways probably. Um, yeah, and then just, you know, getting more comfortable in front of the camera. Um, you know, relaxing a little bit, just doing the whole process a little bit better, some different cam camera angles and uh, all that kind of stuff, you know, just just up my game a little bit. That's, that's really what I would like to try to do. And I guess obviously following through with plans is also a huge thing I got to work on. And, uh, but yeah, uh, it's all a process for me. I'm doing this for myself, uh, so. Yeah, with that, anyways, guys, I uh, appreciate all of you again. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy new year coming up. Uh, I will see you in the near future. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace.